What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how to use your iPad or your iPhone within Unreal Engine for a virtual camera. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, all right. So what we're gonna do first is I have Unreal open right here. I'm actually using a set that I got from the store. I think it was free one month. This is like a sci-fi kit. So it's already put together. It's already lit. So I figured we use this for the example. But first I wanna come up to the settings come down to plugins and I want to come over to here where it says built in and I'm using version 4.24 and so I think this comes on by default but just in case it's not enabled you want to click on your search bar here and let's type in virtual and then you'll want to make sure that you see everything that's here so our take recorder our virtual production utilities our virtual camera just make sure all four things you see here are enabled like I said I think a version 4.24 and up everything is automatically enabled but you just want to make sure so you want to check that and make sure it's all enabled and then we're going to come over to our window and we're going to come down to where is it at under cinematic we want to make sure we have our take recorder up so once we click on that this is what's going to activate it once we have it hooked up i'm using my ipad but if you have the iphone same thing is going to hook it up to that and so now what we want to do is you want to make sure that you go to the ios store so depending on what you're using let me pull up my web browser here so like i said i'm using uh ipad all right so i'm going to come up and type in unreal remote so i clicked on the search bar click unreal remote and this is the one that you're going to want to use so it's unreal remote 2 so we click on that and you're going to have to do this on your device but i'm just showing you what it is here so you come down and you see you have two different versions. You have the iPhone and the iPad. Like I said, I'm using the iPad generation six for this example, but this is what you want to do. You want to make sure you install that onto your iPad and then you want to come over and I have the documentation up here, but you want to come over and you're going to have to type in your IP account. So let me actually activate my iPad so that we can see. Okay, so now that I have my iPad opened up, you can see in the blank box here, this is where you're going to want to type in your IP address. And I'm not going to bring up mine, but over here in the documentation, like where you have to type in the command prompt and then you're just going to copy and paste this in here. So where it says IP config, let me hit copy. And then I'm going to come down to my search bar, type in CMD for the command prompt. You open that up. And then you're just going to paste in here where it says IP config. You paste that in there and it's actually going to pull up your IP numbers. And then you'll type that into your iPad and hit connect. Like I said, I'm not going to do that just for security sake. I don't know if you guys can hack it to my IP or not, but that's just how you're going to do that. And also I'll leave this documentation inside the description below as well. Cause I mean, you just go through here and you can run through the steps yourself, but I figured a visual example is always best. And so what do we want to do next? We want to come over and I'm going to bring in an actual camera into my scene. So over here on my left hand side, I'm going to just type in cam and I'm going to bring in, let's say I'm going to bring in a cinema camera. Here we go. Okay. So I have my camera in here now and I guess we're good up on the steps area right there. And then you can see down here my cinematic viewport exactly what the camera is seeing so yeah we'll start on the opposite side of the corridor here and then next what we want to do is we want to make sure we come over to world settings over here on my right hand side and where it says game mode override click on none and then come down to here where it says virtual camera game mode you want to click on that and you're going to make sure that now that you're in a, a virtual camera mode. So when you pull up your iPad or your iPhone, it's gonna connect it and give you the virtual controls, but that's not the only steps you're gonna to have to do. So now that we have our camera set up, the next step is we're gonna set up our iPad or our iPhone to have full functionality whenever we're moving around with the iPad. So what it's gonna do is depending on the shape of your phone or your iPad, like I'm using the generation six iPad. So I'm gonna actually be able to type that in there and it's gonna know right off the bat that it can make a full screen for my device. And you'll see the drop down menu. You can actually pick any device that you want. So let me show you guys how to set that up now. So if I come under settings here up top, and come down to project settings. Then if I come over to input, 
what we want to do first is right here under mobile where it says always show touch interface mine is already checked on because i was using this earlier but yours is probably going to be checked off if you haven't used this before so you want to make sure that this is checked on and then we could close out of this window and then now we're going to want to come up to edit and come down to editor preferences and then over here we want to click on play under the level editor and right here where it says common resolutions this is where we're going to be able to pick out what device we have so once you click on it you see we have access to all types of different phones all types of different tablets laptops monitors and so what i want to do is since I, i'm using the ipad generation 6 i'm gonna go to tablets come down to ipad gen 6 click that on and leave everything else alone and we should be good to go and so now what the next step is i'm going to take my ipad and actually hit the connect button on here and then i'm going to hit the um, play button over here but i'm not just going to hit the play button what i want to do is you click this little triangle here to bring down the pull down menu and where it says new editor window you want to click on that so give me a second to get everything set up i'm going to have to mic myself up with the live mic and then i'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside the ipad and on a computer when it's connected together over the wi-fi all right so i have my ipad right now hooked up to unreal engine and if i turn around you can see we have the doorway there so with my left hand if i click this little up arrow here you can see now we have on-screen displays and i can actually move forward with this controller and like i said i can make my camera go up and down with this one on the right hand side and then move forward if i need to and what's cool about it is okay so let me move back a little bit maybe pan up nope let me go down a little bit here so say i want to focus in on this touchpad here up here in the top right if i click the a button that's for autofocus so whatever is in the retinal here that's what's going to be in focus so now i can actually walk forward nope that might be a little bit too close but yeah something like that and i could bring that into focus I can step backwards and try to bring something else into focus. But this is gonna auto focus on whatever it's pointing at. And then the T, that's for whenever I click on my screen here, you have to have the focus here. But like, so right here where it says focus, I tapped on this arrow to bring the drop down. You have to have that drop down down or else the focus is not gonna work. But if I tap on it, you can see how it's highlighting that geometry. So that means that geometry is always going to be in focus no matter where I go to. So if I step backwards a little bit, that door should stay in focus. Let me tap on it again. And there you go. And then once I click it up, that means that it's not going to be that focus anymore. So this menu has to be down for that to work. And then we also have manual focus, which I believe this has to be dropped down again. And then if I click on it, it's going to manually focus, kind of like if you have autofocus on your camera when you tap on the screen and how it brings that into focus. But I'm going to leave it on autofocus for now. So like I said, you can walk around. Let me see what's on the other side here. So now I have this door over here. You can walk forward a little bit. You can see I'm moving up on my touchpad because my room is not big enough to really like fully walk around in anything. And so having a touchpad here is really beneficial. But like once I get close to something like this keypad, then I can physically walk in and you can see that I'm actually moving around the room. So now a lot of you guys are asking me how to get this hooked up. So this is just a quick one, two step on how to get everything hooked up for your system. Like I said, I have some stuff that's being shipped by Amazon. My final destination is I want to be able to hook my iPad up to my Blackmagic camera that I have sitting up there and then be able to do this with the green screen like I did in my other tutorial so that we can actually walk around our environment in the green screen and still have full control over that. So look for that maybe in a couple of weeks here. But for now, this is how you get your virtual camera working within Unreal Engine and your iOS device. 
So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this tutorial for like a week or two ever since I started posting that stuff up on Instagram, show a Mixmaster mic on top of Mars with the iPad. You guys have been asking me like crazy, like, hey, how do you do it? So hopefully this was a good step-by-step -step rundown on how to achieve that. If it was, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Show me what you guys have been working on with it. And as always, subscribe to the channel, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.